Today I'm going to be sharing some tricks and formulas for data analysis. We have a large sample of data here. It has over 9,000 lines of code here and lines of data in it. And we would like to ask it some questions. So the first question we would like to ask is how many rentals did Terry have? So we have Terry is the salesperson in the salesperson line here. And you can see in the type here, we have uh, different activities. And so one of them is rentals. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the count ifs formula. So we're going to go equals, and then we're going to type in count ifs. All right, and then we're going to do opening bracket. So the first thing we're going to tell it is the first range that we want to have the criteria of, and that's with the, the salesperson range. And so to select the entire range, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the first cell of the salesperson range. I'm going to press control shift down arrow. And now that's gone to the last line, which is 9,065. I'm going to put a comma in here, and that's now I'm told I've told it the range, and now it's going to look for Terry. And so I'm going to put quotation marks, and I'm going to put Terry. In capital letters so it's exactly the same and then I'm going to put a comma in here so the next thing we want a criteria of is we want Terry but we only want rentals so what I'm going to do is go back to the top of my data I'm going in the type under the type column here I'm going to click on the first the first cell in the range here I'm pressing control shift down arrow and that's gone to the bottom of my data. So I've put a comma in here, and now I would like it to be rentals. So I'm going to put quotation mark, rental, and then I'm going to close the quotation mark, and I'm going to close the bracket. And I'm going to close the bracket and I'm going to press enter. So if we go back up under the questions, so Terry in this time period made 1,475 rentals. So that's using the count ifs. So we would like to also ask the question using the same data, we would like to find out the total of all the fuel sales that John, that John did. So what we're going to use here is the sum ifs. So we go equals sum ifs. And now what we're going to do is the first column that we're going to put in is we're going to put in the column that we are going to sum. So what we're going to do is under the quantity column, which is the H column, I'm going to select the, the beginning or the top cell and I'm going to go control shift down arrow. And now that's brought me to the bottom and I'm going to put a comma here. Now what it's going to do is we have to go the criteria for why, what is the criteria for our, our summing? So the first criteria is, uh, is the salesperson. And that would be um, that would be in the J column here. One more time, we're going to press Control Shift Down Arrow to get to the bottom of the J column. We're going to put a comma in here, and then we are going to put the the criteria that we want for the J column, and that's going to be John.
Okay, so that's fine. So let's put a comma there. And now we're, we have ifs, so we have two, so we want another criteria. And so let's go by the type. And so let's go back up to the top and let's select the type range. Control shift down arrow. And then we're going to put in there fuel with quotation marks around it. And so now we're going to press enter. And there we can go up to our question. And so for the sum total of all the sales that John did in this period for the uh, fuel sales was 49, 47, 97. Now we have this wonderful thing that is in uh, this new feature that's in 365. So let's just click somewhere in the data and let's go analyze data. Now, for, um, for a data set this large, it doesn't exactly do what we want, but it, we have the ability to ask it questions. So let's copy these questions that we've asked it. So how many rentals did Terry have? So let's copy that and put that in the, um, in the question here and press enter. And look, it came up with the same. It came up with the same, um, the same answer as we came came. Now let's put the other question in. So we'll go copy this, and we'll put it here. Oops, let's just wipe out the old one, and put it here. And then we're going to press enter. Now. It, it, it does not it does not total it doesn't do the sum ifs it only does the count ifs so this this works fine for the count ifs but it's not it doesn't work for the count the sum if, sum sum ifs so that is how that's my tricks in for formulas in in data analysis I will include these two formulas that I've entered in here please subscribe <laughs>